Hina hina. Ho ha hina. Hina he he ha he 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 he. What was I gonna say? So, I thought this would be quite a good idea today. To be honest with you guys here, yeah, I don't understand why you guys still ask me this question. How to get over a guy, how to get over somebody, heartbreak. Like, I have hundreds of videos of them, but I don't know whether they, you lot think here yeah, that like, I have an update, like I have, like I have an updated version. Like, I don't. I still strongly and, and, and securely believe in what I believe in. And, um, and I still get a lot of hate from guys because they feel like, you know, I'm one-sided, but it's like, I don't date women. I, to be honest though, talking about that, yeah, the way I be getting moved to, to with like, the way I be getting moved to from girls, yeah, is, is shocking. Like, this has literally been the most, I would say somebody has like been on my case, yeah, about dating them and they're female. And I'm just like, oh, hello. For those of you who have asked me this question, I am not a lesbian. I don't know where that came from. I don't know where it, I honestly feel flattered that girls fancy me. I find it flattering. I fancy some girls too. Like there's a few girls I've seen and I thought, right, oh, yeah, you're, you're kind of tasty still. But that's as far as it goes. I'm not like, I'm not, I don't go in that pond. I just, I like the other thing nice anyway so <laughs> my opinion is not going to change on like what i think but i don't know i guess you guys want me to answer it so i will answer it i guess guess but how to get over a breakup yeah i would say my first tip is this they need to be blocked <laughs> they need to be blocked because it you're not going to be able to come up and you're not going to be able to accomplish and move forward in your life if you can visibly keep seeing them seeing them is jarring nobody needs to see where you're you even even you walk in somewhere i don't need to see it because i can collapse right now i can collapse seeing you walking somewhere or enjoying your time like walking to a party walking to a party because i will actually jump in the window and smash all the plates inside about you wanna go out to a party. See, it's not even my situation, but that's, <laughs> I can understand, I can relate. Yeah, that would be my first tip is to block them. They need to good night, bye. We don't need to see your stupid face. My second tip would be moving memories of them. Like, so memories that you've had with them, remove it. The, that stupid Teddy that he bought you when you went to, I don't know where you went to that you got gassed. The stupid said they go and burn it and fling it somewhere the um pictures okay with the pictures i'm not gonna lie yet because i'm gonna give you advice the way i will give myself advice and what i do i wouldn't tell you to do something i wouldn't do myself so i remember when i was going through my own and i had loads of pictures with the person and i really struggled to delete them like so i feel like with pictures take your time you know there's no rush um you know, it's your phone, it's your environment. So if you have any pictures and that, like, and it's taking you longer to delete them, that's, it's actually hard. People, like, honestly, it's hard to delete those pictures. Like, it was so hard for, <sighs> pictures of um, the person I dated years and years ago. And like, I don't care about you, but it's just, I don't know, it takes some time to delete those little things. But all them stupid teddies and them te just trade in the bin, my friend. Just freeze. Uh, he bought me a teddy when we went to the um, Fort Park. Fling it. It's not necessary anymore. He, he can't be going. Okay. Any other advice? Okay. So the first so that was that was that was the second one. So like anything that rem reminds you of them and it's like making you upset get rid of it so it could be the pictures it could be you know some little gifting shit that he's given you like some even even messages like ugh. for me i had um i had like cards i had like birthday cards christmas cards and yeah but it wasn't just from one boyfriend i just had i just did that thing where i just collected them and so one that said oh yeah be going in the bin be going but you have to get to that point yeah, where you become okay with it so for a long time i wasn't okay with it like i was feeling 
I was feeling so broken that I couldn't delete it. It just took me longer than usual to do. Take your time with that, like there's no rush. Um, the third piece of advice about getting over a breakup, yeah. Oh my, this already, stop begging. Don't you dare, don't you dare beg. Like, it was, some of you will be begging. Be don't go please stay with me I can never beg like for me it has to be a situation when the guy's like listen grace don't call me don't text me don't message me don't even look at me i will say okay let me be going gently never see me open my even if i'm in the wrong i've already apologized but you've said to me you don't want me again so let me just be taking my l and finding my way out but to beg i can't do it something in my spirit will never allow me to beg a man never for what to stay why why am i begging you you don't want to stay though so why am i begging you <laughs> why would i beg you so it could even it, I, I think i'm more of like if the what whatever he says to me goes so if he's saying to me listen grace listen grace i don't want you again be going then i know already it's fine but until then i'm a loyal person that i won't tend i won't go around doing things like i'll just feel like oh we're just having a little we're just having a little problem you know so i don't judge things based off of like you know you know maybe he's gone for a bit or he's vanished for a few hours or he's gone for a few weeks like i don't i'm not one to take that and be like oh yeah he's that means he's gone then no i want to hear you say it <laughs> i want to hear you say with your mouth that listen i don't want you again so be going yeah that will give me a proper like insight onto what exactly is going on but to beg you to come back for what it's embarrassing it's the same thing i say to my little sisters don't you dare don't you dare think about calling the person i want you back why be going be going and close the door behind you okay idiot goodbye fourth tip would probably be um okay, i would say try not to be in the same environment like and don't be a stalker like you know what when people leave your life it's not necessarily a bad thing like sometimes god removes them because they're shit you don't understand what's hard to correlate and correspond and digest sometimes you know when we say i do the same i do the same prayer like god any evil evil horrible people in my life any stupid idiots and whether you're a woman you're a man your auntie your uncle please let them be going and when they don't have to make a fuss about it you know sometimes yeah you've got some friends yeah or you've got some like people you've seen or some guys you've seen and they go yeah you don't understand or you don't even know the time the minutes the hours they left that time that they left you don't even know when they done it because the person wasn't for you, wasn't meant for your life, so they just went like that, you know? Sometimes it's not it's not a loud commotion. Sometimes it just and it just makes you think, oh, that was my friend before, or oh, that was my boyfriend before. You know, it's just life. You know what I mean? It's not by force. Babes, honestly, it's not by force. It's not by force. <laughs> by force so if people want to be going then they can be going and they can close the door and it's absolutely okay afraid to let people go don't be afraid because for the most part it could actually be for your own benefit but you're you're ruining your joy it's just because it's not black and white and what pe people in general they have to see black and white in order for them to understand there's some people that are not meant for your life they're not meant for your growth they're not meant for your happiness they're not meant for your surrounding I have to, I have to, the Lord just came through at that moment in time. <laughs> meant, you know this year, yeah, listen, this year, that's going, this, I can count at least 10 people, no, that's too high, Grace, relax. I would say there's three people that I couldn't care less. <laughs> I couldn't care high or less. <laughs> big or small if i don't see you again in my life i don't care like it's not it's not it, it's okay you know i'm a bit of a i'm a bit of a hard one like i'm a hard i've got a hard chest like but it's taken me a lot to get to this point so that's the reason why i am the way i am and it very simple like it's you know if people have no relevance the door is closed 
for me anyway, the doors are always closed. You only get one shot, so make it count. Okay, I wouldn't say one shot. I think I think it depends on what you do. It depends on what you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I give a lot of shots. For those of you who have offended me, you know you have your shots. But if you flop it, mm -hmm, in the bin you go. <laughs> Texting, the, the whole paragraph. You know what does it? Let me tell you what does it, yeah? This is what I do. I'm giving you my secret. When I'm in a mood, okay, and I'm... It, okay, there's two separate scenarios. If a guy has said to you he's going and he wants to go, that's fine. Let him be going, it's fine. But if it's still, like, pending, like, it's a pending P, pending um, transaction, it's not good to play games, but obviously we will do it. So, anyway, there's some things you can do. So, instead of doing the paragraphs, nobody cares, okay? Big man, we don't care. When I see people doing paragraphs, okay, you're stressing your chest because I'm not going to read to the bottom. I'm not going to read to the bottom. So, there's some things. When he comes in the spirit, even if he says one sentence, you do one dot. <laughs> yeah, that Having fights over the phone, they don't make sense. So a lot of the time it's best to see each other face to face, eyeball to eyeball. Let me see you in the flesh. You know what I mean? Let me see you in the flesh, yeah? Let me put you like this, yeah, side by side. And yeah? then I have the discussion with you. Because having a conversation over the phone, yeah, I really have understood, yeah, throughout my years, it worsens. Because I'm not great with, I'm not that great with communication, especially if I'm reading it. I can read the information wrongly. I can read, you might put it, you might put something down here and I've read it and I've read it dodgily. I've read it dodgily. So my response to you is, okay, that's fine, goodbye. <laughs> Again, we're working on, we're working on, on lifting ourselves, okay? We're not perfect, don't judge me. He who is the sinner, no, what is it? <laughs> he who is not a sinner, cast the first stone. All of you are sinners. So, let me shine, okay? But we're working on it. What step by step? So I'm gonna take it step by step. Okay, that's not even a song, but I just created it now. First of all, ask yourself, yeah, whether it's worth a breakup. You know what? Sometimes, yeah, like women can be very. We can be not nice. <laughs> I can be not nice if I'm upset with you, but you will know I'm upset with you. So I feel like there's there's some things yeah that we need to like obviously change about the communication. Cause with me, that's I, I would say that's my number one fault is like communicating in a in a positive way. Cause I will X you, X the conversation, X everything. It's alright, go to the bin. But sometimes it's just not that level. Do you see what I'm saying? It's not that level of, 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 it's not that level to do, to be doing that. Sometimes it's just a simple, okay, babes, I'm going to work on that. It's very simple. But no, you will come up like a lion and start fighting. Sometimes the wars, is, 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 pick your wars correctly. Pick your wars correctly. When just make sure you collect all your shoes and bags so that you don't have to come back. <laughs> when you're going and you're washing out the door, you start thinking, ah, my Chanel bag is in the house. Listen, if you're gonna walk out, walk out correctly, you get me? You work out with your dick. Ah, hey, that's the last final thing. When you're walking out, walk out with your dignity. Walk out with your pride. Some of you, you'd have washed yourself in there. You finish crying, 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 crying your whole eyeballs out, bruv. And then now, it's like, but the thing is, it's funny because when you walked in the relationship, you had your dignity, you had your pride, you had everything. Like you, even when you started the dating, when you, once you even started the dating process, you know, you had your, um, you know, you had your shoulders up high. You was like, yeah. Uh, he's asked if you're not, no. When you go to his house, you gotta sit on the edge of the bed. Like you don't know what the bed is. You do. <laughs> you stiff everything stiff you know you had so much pride you know and now when you want to leave he's saying all these things you want to be moving like crying and all that that's don't do it inside with your dignity live with your dignity you hear what i'm saying you live with the dignity when you're living out so it's like you're smiling oh you're going yeah okay make sure the door doesn't slam your head on the way out okay i'll see you later I'm gonna be in Chicago next week. <laughs> you might not even be going to any Chicago boy, but you too, shine. You wanna go? Cool. Say nothing. That's only when it becomes, the, the, the relationship is thin to the niche, then you can be doing 
shoulders but sometimes if a situation can be resolved my sister resolve it because let me tell you something come closer to me come closer to me come come there's no shit outside okay so if you get yourself a nice cute hard working look after you he doesn't beat you on the weekend he does everything for you you know it's best that you keep him where you are okay because sometimes People think that it's green on the outside, but you know what? It's not green, it's black. <laughs> it's not green, it's black. Okay? So, sometimes, you are the one at fault. Yes, sister, I said it, and I'm going to say it straight. Sometimes you are the one at fault. Sometimes you are the one with no respect. Sometimes you are rude. Sometimes you are not doing the right thing. Yeah, sometimes it's the woman that's doing the madness. You need to learn to control it. You think that sometimes, you know, especially when you have a good guy, if you have a good guy, terrific, but he has one or two scones, scones in his brain, like he's not all the way to get, nobody's perfect. And you think that, ah, uh, when I get outside, there's gonna be niggas. There's not shit there, okay? There's not shit on the other side. It's dried. Everything is dried up. You are in a, it's like you are in a, it's like you are starving in an ocean with no fish. Him, it's like being in the air, in the outside space, and there's nobody but stars. And you're just looking around, you're floating, 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 nobody to say hello, what's going on? So, relax, okay? Just remember that a devil you know at home hmm, is still better than the one you don't know outside. Pick a mad person, bruv, and bring them to your house, you're gonna be shocked. So sometimes just relax, man, relax. They ain't shit outside though. Just wanna tell you that, cause a lot of girls think that, you know, you get a bit comfortable. I think the word is comfortable, but that's why it's so important, yeah, to do things. Like in my relationship, I like to travel. I like to go on holiday. Don't, I'm a Sagittarius. I feel like this is the same with all Sagittarius women. Like we are outgoing, bubbly. Sagittarius, and I'm like Sagittarius slash, slash Capricorn, you know? And I've, I've noticed that there's a lot of these star signs that are very similar. Like, we like to travel. We don't like to be suppressed. Don't suppress me in a little cocoon, bruv, because I will punch you. It's a fly. Let my wings explode. Let my wings even slap you on the way out. It's fine. Let me live. Go and have a drink. Let me go to um, the States. Let me go to, um, uh, where do I even want to go, Jerry? I don't even know. Let me go to Miami. Hmm? All those places, let the sun slap me a bit. I can't stay in the same place, I get bored. So if you know your person like that and your man is maybe a bit more on the granddad side, he has to compromise or else you'll get bored. And then that, when you get bored, yeah, it, it messes up with your brain because your brain is basically telling you you're bored, you want to do something. But then you start thinking it's the guy that you're bored of, but it might not be. It might just mean that you need to fly a bit. You know what I mean? So rest what's going on in everyone's relationship but i hope and i pray that god helps us with it in jesus name and um it's going to be a whole hahina production and you know another thing let me just finalize it's okay to be alone for a little bit okay it's, you're not gonna die okay sometimes it's all right just be on your own cuddle yourself relax chill have a nice time anyway you have a whole hahina um weekend and uh, it's friday today yeah it's friday i'm gonna have a drink and I love you guys so much and um, I'm gonna see you soon, you know, in a city near you. Hina, Hina. Ho, 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 Hina. Ho, 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 Hina. Ho, 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 scrip. Ho, ho, scrip, scrip. Ho, ho, scrip. Ho, ho, scrip, scrip. <laughs> I'm out. Love you.